Okay, so let's take a look at how you can connect to PostgreSQL database and get the data in Power BI. So if you are on cloud account, you can simply log in, right? And here you can see, you can go to create. However, it won't let us to connect for any desktop related service. So for that, we'll have to download and use Power BI desktop, right? So what I'm going to do is going to open the Power BI desktop to connect to. However, first we need to check PostgreSQL, right? So here's the PostgreSQL 14 and let me open PG admin. It will ask me for master password and then database password. So this is PG admin 4 as of now and the database server is version 14, right? So I'll be connecting to that particular version, right? So after that, once we connect and check the data, we'll be opening the connection to Power BI, right? So let me connect to master account and then let's go with server so here right here you see the database so we have data set postgres and sample db and within sample db go to schemas and then tables so here you see i have around 15 table within my sample db and then these one of the tables right so basically it's taken from dvd rental and inside that i can simply count rows and use say first 100 rows for this particular table as you can see it has managed to give me that data right so now that we have learned how to connect to our Postgres database and we also learn what type of tables we have, we can open Power BI, right? And within Power BI, I am going to open one of these tables. So let me once again go to Postgres SQL 14, then sample DB, right? And as you can see, Within dashboard, everything is noticed here. As you can see, there are two users, one being Postgres, that is me, another being instance of Postgres, right? You can additionally add users as well, but let's not go there because our current motive is to get the data from schemas, then tables, one of the tables from that database right now that power bi desktop is open what we can do is click on get data right now here you see i can click on database and search for postgresql database then i can click to connect to this particular container right then it should ask me some of the details like the server. So it's on my own server. So it would be localhost. And then colon and 5432 would be the port. Now, in case if you're connecting to cloud, then you will have a URL, just like website, and then specific port where you have PostgreSQL web database. Then your database name. So here it's sample DB. And how you wish to connect this? So basically it will be using import or direct query. So keep with default import, click OK. Now it will try and connect it and then it will open the navigator. Now as you can see it has added public then 
table name public and then table name so some of the table if inaccessible they won't be having the attribute public right so let's say we have plenty of tables here literally like so many tables and the data for some is missing so i'll try to get one where i have decent data like this city then address stamp list cells then film list right like this you can have multiple data here so let's go with actor so here you see their first name last name and the films where they acted right so you can pick data something like this and once you pick it simply click on this actor info in this case this is the table name you can pick any other data of your choice then table make sure to select it you can transform the data directly and try to edit one of these headers and any other data points that you want like you want to get rid of empty value within table you can do so right now click on load now it will show you the status and list of those fields as you can see it is importing that data into our desktop version of power bi right as you can see total 200 rows are added and our fields section will be populated with that table inside which you have four columns i can drop in here and create a report but let's hold that part for now now i want to take this data to cloud right so in this type of problem what you can do is click publish save let's say pg data which is postgres data once it is saved it will be taken to cloud within your chosen workspace then it will give you success message right now that we have success message that means our current data is now to the cloud let's go there and within home we'll try to find workspace by browsing and then workspace right here we have to find our pg data data set right as you can see it is uploaded now what you want to do with this data let's say you want to visualize this or you want to share this right so let's create a report auto create right and when you auto create it will take something from that so basically when you auto create you will have some random report like how many actors right and their first name last name if it's similar or actor id right so some random values are here because it doesn't make any sense for now because we don't have actually a lot of data so if we select all these rows and columns it will have something reasonable right so it basically just does the count of your actor's first name last name so that's the report is created here you can have any other table have some numbers to play with instead of this text-based data so to have much clearer understanding of that particular values right so this is the data that we have taken by connecting our postgres database to power bi desktop then taken that data to the cloud and generated the report so i'm created a workflow in this right from taking data to processing it and taking it to cloud so i hope by now you get the idea of how to use power bi and how to process your data right now oh, you can you can go ahead and work on your
powered via desktop data or you can directly process it in cloud right so if you want to do anything further like say you picked up a different data something like this let's see if i select and if i choose customer data and choose all the rows right if there are any numbers to play with yes you can go ahead process this data and create the report right so it's not basically typical text data for you so you can use the data as you wish right so you get the idea how to basically connect your power bi desktop to postgresql within your own local host right and then process this data on both desktop and cloud